Welcome to Education Express, my dear friends. The topic for today is matrices. This topic is one of the most liked topic by students' fraternity for a simple reason that it gives you an assurance of marks. Point one, and it is very simple and easy to understand. Generally, by and large, from our past experience, it has been observed that. students have a great affinity for this topic that's matrices i'll be introducing to you the concepts of matrices and then we'll be following doing few exercises from a chosen text though i'll be doing from a particular textbook but my general explanations and conceptual clarity will help you to solve questions from any textbook of your choice the explanations are not restricted or limited by any particular textbook but they are open and universal in nature that means the principles of mathematics which are universally applied has been applied for the purpose of doing this particular topic so if you focus on fundamental concepts and the trick that withholds this topic it will surely give you an insight of the topic which will help you solve the questions with smooth understanding accuracy efficiency and definitely you will certainly feel confident at the end of the day so my dear friends the first 20 minutes explanation is very very essential and important this topic on matrices you are doing it for the first time the concept was not introduced until standard 9 so directly the topic is introduced in standard 10 and is likely going to be there from here on onwards in next standards also so what exactly do you mean by the term matrices first of all let me tell you that matrices is a plural word the singular word is matrix what do you mean by the term matrix merely arrangement of the numbers in a rectangular form a rectangular order in the form of rows and columns so how so a matrix looks like this this is called matrix a 1 2 4 5 so arrangement is in a rectangular form so why you call it a rectangular form i call it a rectangular form because a horizontal arrangement are called rows and the vertical arrangements are called columns so my dear friends tell me one thing if i have a matrix like this 1 2 3 5 6 7 So how many rows are there? So total number of rows would be one and two, two rows. How many columns? So column one, column two, column three. So there are three columns. A matrix is always defined by row into column, row into column. Quite possible that number of row equals to number of column, or number of row is not equal to number of column. That is okay. That is fine. But a matrix will always be defined by rows into column. What are rows? So horizontal arrangement is called rows. Vertical arrangement of numbers are called columns. So we have horizontal arrangement one, two, three. It's a row. First row. Five, six, seven. It's a row. It's a second row. How many rows are there? So there are two rows. What about columns? So one and five belong to column one. Two and six. Belong to column two. Three and seven belong to column three. All together, there are two rows. There are three columns. What is it? It's a matrix. What is the name of the matrix? Matrix A. What is one called as? It is called as element of matrix. Super. So I understood. What is a matrix? So matrix is a singular word. <laughs> of course, yes, it's a singular word. The matrices are plural. So matrix is arrangement of element into rows and columns. And definition of matrix is derived from its arrangement, that is, row into column. 
Yes, one of the most important peculiarity of a matrix is its arrangement. That is row into column. The element will be arranged in rows and columns. And what are rows? So horizontal arrangement is called row and vertical arrangement is called column. Absolutely fine. Let us understand few more properties of the matrices. Alright. So what are the properties of matrices? First property. Supposing if I have a matrix A, 1, 3, 7 and 4 and matrix B, 4, 1, 9 and 2, can these two matrices, can I add these two matrix? Can I? The answer is two matrix can be added if and only if they are of the same order. If and only in the same order, that means they both should have the same order. Let us make an assessment. What is the order of A? So there are two rows and so there are two columns. What about here? The so same, two row into two columns. So are they of the same order? Of course, yes, you can add them. How? So substitute the value of matrix A. 1, 3, 7, 4. What about this one? 4, 1, 9 and 2. Absolutely. So it's a mere simple addition. Make sure that the place value of 1 in this matrix and the place value of the element in this matrix can be added suitably corresponding to each other. 1 will get added to 4, that becomes 5. 3 will be added to 1, that is 4. 7 plus 9. 7 plus 9, 16, 4 plus 2, that's 6. Oh, that means two matrix can be added provided they are of the same order. I go one step further. Two matrix can be subtracted also, provided if they are of the same order. In other words, 1, 3, 7, 4. 1, 3, 7, 4 is same as matrix A minus minus matrix B. What is matrix B? 4, 1, 9, 2. Same corresponding positions. 1 minus 4 minus 3. 3 minus 1 that's 2. 7 minus 9 that's minus 2. 4 minus 2 that's 2. This is the value of matrix A minus B and this is the value of matrix A plus B. What is matrix? Arrangement of numbers in rows and columns. Generally it will be a rectangular but let me introduce to you the different types of matrix. The first one. Matrix and its types. Supposing if I have this one. Have a look. 1, 2, 3. So, this is looking really very different from the one which you introduced to us. This matrix has got how many rows? One single row. This is also called as row matrix. So what will be the order of this matrix? Very simple. Order of any matrix has to be row into column. How many rows are there? One. How many columns? So vertical arrangement. One. This is column 1, this is column 2, this is column 3, so 1 into 3. Absolutely right. It is called as a row matrix. What about this? 3, 6, 9. So, I can see column very much visible, evidential. So, we call this as column matrix. Now tell me my dear friends, in this matrix, sorry, in this matrix, how many rows are there? So first row, second row, third row. So there are three rows. How many columns are there? One single column. Matrix is defined by its row into column. So the order of this matrix will be three into one. Take for example matrix P, which has its element 1, 3, 9, 7, or Q, where the elements are 1, 2, 3, 
फोर एट नाइन सेवन फाइव एंड टू नंबर ऑफ रोज सर देर आर टू रोज देर आर टू कॉलम्स सो द ऑर्डर इज टू इन टू टू दिस इज कॉल्ड एज स्क्वेर मेट्रिक्स फॉर अ सिंपल रीजन दैट द नंबर ऑफ रोज एंड द नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स आर सेम वॉट अबाउट दिस सर देर आर थ्री रोज वन टू एंड थ्री एंड सर देर आर थ्री कॉलम्स ऑल्सो What is the order of the matrix? Three into three. Since number of row equals to number of column, even this matrix is called as a square matrix. So by now I know what is a row matrix, what is a column matrix, what is a square matrix. We also have a matrix where all the elements are zero. Yeah. All the elements of the matrix zero. This is referred to as zero matrix, or can also be called as null matrix. So, row matrix, column matrix, square matrix, zero matrix. Last but not least, mute. So basically, uh, let's recap the whole thing. What we did. What is a matrix? So matrix is arrangement of the elements in rows and columns. Perfect. A matrix is defined by its order. Order of the matrix is very very important. You can't proceed. The operation on the matrix cannot happen without knowing its order. Order means row and column. Row will always precede column, so it will always be in the nature. Matrix is of the order row into column. So here yeah, the matrix is of the order two into two, two rows, two columns. Remember, horizontal arrangement of element is called rows. Vertical arrangement of the element is called columns. Can two matrices be added? Yes, sir. If they are of the same order, we can check. The order is two into two, two into two. They can be added. Two matrices, sir, can be subtracted from each other. Can operation between them take place? Any operation can take place. Provided. They are of the same order, so the operation of subtraction can take place. What are the different types of matrix? First is row matrix. You know what is the definition of row matrix? A row matrix will have only one single row. So any matrix having only one single row is a row matrix. You can check it. There is only one single row. And how many columns are there? One, two, three. Order of the matrix: row into column, one into three. So row matrix. Column matrix, so matrix which has only one column. You can check it over here. Three, six, nine, one single column. What about the number of rows? One, two, three. Number of rows three. Number of column one. So the order is three into one. So sir, understood. What is row matrix? I understood. What is column matrix? Square matrix. Over here, number of rows and number of columns are unequal. Unequal. Number of rows and number of columns both are equal. Two into two, so order is two into two. So it's a square matrix. Three into three, square matrix. All the elements of the matrix are zero. It's called zero matrix or null matrix. Move on to the next one. There are two more types of different matrix which needs to be understood before we proceed. And those are identity matrix. Very very important identity matrix also called as unique matrix. You know what is the peculiar characteristics of unique matrix? The diagonals will be one, and the rest of the numbers will be zero. You can check this one one one. They are unique matrix or identity matrix. And they are denoted by the letter I. So I stands for identity matrix. So what is the peculiarity? So diagonally they will be one. This order they will be one. It is called as identity matrix or unique matrix. So anything else that we can put up to matrix space. We can also have transpose. What do you mean by transpose? So when I say if 
A matrix is 1, 3, 7, 9. Then transpose of A generally denoted by A, T, transpose of A. Many people call it this also. A dash. That is transpose of A. You know what? Just interchange rows to columns. Now the row was 1, 3, so make it as a column. The row was 7, 9, make it as a column. Done. If this is A, this is transpose of A. So one more example. Suppose this is P. 3, 2, 5, 4, 9, 7. So what will be the transpose of P? You can call it P raised to T or probably you can call it P dash. Which means, what is the row? Row is 3, 2, 5. That will change to column. What is the row? 4, 9, 7. Row, it will change to column. 4, 9, 7. So but the order is changed, of course. We are not focusing on what order it is going to get resulted into. A focus should be only on all the rows will get interchanged to columns. Earlier the row was 1, 3, it got changed to transpose to column. 7 and 9, column is 7 and 9. My row was 3, 2, 5, now my column is 3, 2, 5. My row is 4, 9, 7, now my column is 4, 9, 7. What was the order of this matrix? So 2 rows, 3 columns. What is the order of this matrix? So, 3 rows and Two columns. Wow. Do I need to remember theoretically name of all the matrices? Absolutely not. This is for the purpose of your understanding. Many times the operation is involved wherein they will tell you show that this operation minus that operation will result in identity matrix. Now if I don't know the meaning of identity matrix, your operation will surely result into 1001 but you don't have any knowledge of identifying as 1001 is also called as identity matrix so it is for that purpose one must know what are the different types of matrix and they are very simple if only row, row matrix if only one column, column matrix if number of rows are equal to number of columns, square matrix if all the elements are zero all the elements of the matrices are zero that means it is a zero matrix. If diagonally it is one, rest all the elements are zero. It will be unit matrix, which is also called as identity matrix. And then we have understood how exactly we can derive a transpose of a matrix. So you give me any matrix, I can convert it into a transpose matrix. So now, please interchange row to columns. So what all are rows will then become columns. This was a simple example. One, three, seven, nine. They were rows, now they are columns. 3, 2, 5, 4, 9, 7. They were earlier rows, now they have changed to column. This is what is called as transpose matrix. Now, some of the, these are the types of matrix. Let us do some properties of matrix. Properties means what this matrices are capable of or each matrix is capable of. What are the properties? Do they have affinity for each other? Do they respond to each other? What about the different operations of plus, minus, multiplication, division? Do they enter into any kind of such operations or they are restricted? Have a look. As I told you, two matrix can be added if they are of same order. So two matrix can be added, two matrix can be subtracted, provided they are of the same order. Now some of the peculiarities of the matrix. Supposing if I have A equals to 1, 3, minus 2 and 5. And I am interested in finding out 5A. Oh sir, that means you have multiplied this matrix by 5. So what would be the effect on each element? The answer is each element will also get multiplied by 5. Not just one, each element. That means if I am multiplying this by 5, then please multiply 1 also by 5. 3 into 5. 15. Minus 2 into 5, minus 10. 5 to 5, 25. Agreed, sir. Interesting. If matrix gets multiplied by 5, then each element of the matrix will also get multiplied by 5. So, can we multiply matrix by negative numbers? Of course, yes. 
Suppose I want to multiply each, I want to multiply matrix A by minus 3. Multiply by minus 3. So each element will get multiplied by minus 3. So this becomes minus 3, this becomes minus 9, this becomes 6, and this will become minus 15. Wow! Understood. Absolutely understood. The matrix can be multiplied by any arbitrary constant. Absolutely. Matrix can be added if they are of the same order. Matrix can be subtracted if they are of the same order. So what if I try to add two matrix which are not of the same order? Right? Matrix A is 1, 2, 3 and 5. And matrix B is 3, 4, 2, 9, 1, 1. Try, no, sorry, try, try. If you are adding these two matrix, my answer is since A and B are not of the same order. Why so? This is 2 into 2 and this is 2 into 3. They are not of the same order. Hence, A plus B does not exist. Please don't even make an attempt also. Practically also, if you ever make an attempt, suppose I know sir, I am very adamant. I can't give up so easily. You know that I am a researcher, I am a scientist and blah blah blah. Okay, carry on. This number corresponding to this can be added. This two can be added, this can be added, this can be added. But what about these elements? I'm sure it will result in casualty. And ultimately, you will conclude that yes, sir, since A and B are not the same order, hence A plus B does not exist. Fair. Fair enough. So matrix can be added, matrix can be subtracted. Two matrix. are said to be equal if all the elements and arrangement are homogeneous that is identical that means if matrix A is 1, 3, 4, 5 Matrix B is 1, 4, 3, 5. And matrix C is 1, 3, 4, 5. A and B. All elements look same. 1, 3, 4, 5. 1, 3, 4, 5. The arrangement is not same. So A is not equal to B. For A to be equal to any matrix, then both the matrix has to be homogeneous identical. 1, 3, 4, 5. 1, 3, 4, 5. Same element, same arrangement. Yes, they are equal matrix. A matrix is said to be equal if all the elements of A matrix and all the elements of B matrix are identical. Even the arrangement is identical. Only then we can say that the two matrices or two matrix are same. So you know what are equal matrix. Based on this property or based on this principle, if you see how we can explore this chapter further. Supposing x plus 1, 2x plus y, 7 and minus 5. Here you have 6, 7, 8 and minus 5. Since they have mentioned that these two matrices are same, equal. So, can I say x plus 1 will be equal to 6? x plus 1? Therefore, x equals to 5. What we have to find? So, find x and y. How we can easily find y? So, we have found out. 7 is equal to 7, minus 5 equals to minus 5, and this yet need to be explored. 2x plus y, so 2x plus y can be equated to 8. We already have the value of x as 5, please substitute. 2 into 5, 
plus y equals to 8. 5 to the 10, 10 plus y equals to 8. Therefore, y equals to 8 minus 10, y equals to minus 2. So you see how the property of matrix has helped us derive the value of x and y. Few more problems. I think almost for the first two exercises, that is P exercise and V exercise, almost everything is introduced. Let me show you a few questions on that. Supposing they have given A is 1, 3, minus 1 and 5, B is 4, 2, 0 and minus 3, C is minus 1, 3, 4 and 6. This information is given to us, asking us to find out the value of A plus 2B plus 3C. Can you find it? Then they are asking us to find the value of 3A minus 2B plus 5C. Can we do so? Let us try the first one. Since they are saying A, so matrix A plus 2 times matrix B plus 3 times matrix C. Let us substitute the value. What is the value of matrix A? 1, 3, minus 1 and 5. Matrix B, 4, 2, 0, minus 3. Matrix C, minus 1, 3, 4 and 6. So what can be done? So this will remain as it is. 1, 3, minus 1 and 5 plus so we will insert this 2, so it will get multiplied, each and every element will get multiplied. 2 into 4, 8. 2 into 4, 2 into 0, 0. 2 into minus 3, minus 6. Absolutely. Plus, I am putting this 3 inside, so 3 will get multiplied by each and every element. 3 into minus 1, minus 3. 3 into 3, 9. 3 into 4, 12. 3 into 6, 18. What next? Next is, we have to simply add 1 plus 8. 1 plus 8, 9. 9 plus into minus, minus. So 1 plus 8 minus 3, 9 minus 3, 6. If you don't remember this way, you can show them working over here. 1 plus 8 minus 3. 3 plus 4 plus 9. Minus 1 plus 0 plus 12. Same to same position. 5 plus minus 6. Plus 18. Where you will find the value. 1 plus 8, 9. 9 minus 3. 9 minus 3. 7. 16. Minus 1 plus 0, minus 1, minus 1 plus 12, 11. 5. 5 plus 18, 23. 23 minus 6. Seven. So the answer for the question A plus 2B plus 3C would be this. So can we find this same way? 3 multiplied by matrix A minus 2 multiplied by matrix B plus 5 multiplied by matrix C. How do you go about 3? What is matrix A? 1, 3, minus 1 and 5. What about matrix B? 4, 2, 0, minus 3. Matrix C, minus 1. 3, 4, 6. Please multiply and check. 3 to 1, 3, 9, minus 3, and 15. Minus I have kept it outside, so only 2 will go inside. 2 into 4, 2 to 2 into 0, 
2 into this minus 6. 5 minus 5, 15, 20, 30. Isn't it easy, my dear friends? Now pay attention in this step. 3 minus 8 plus minus 5 done. 9 minus 4 plus 15 minus 3 minus 0 plus 20. 15 minus 15. Minus minus six, so put that eight plus thirty. Eventually, when you work out this, when you calculate this, three minus eight is minus five, minus five plus minus five that makes it minus ten. Nine nine minus five, sorry nine minus four that's five, five plus fifteen. Minus 3 minus 0 is minus 3, minus 3 plus 20. 15 plus 6, 15 plus 6, 21. 21 plus 30, 51. So this is your required part of the answer. So by now we are familiar with how exactly we need to do addition and subtraction. So we will proceed further. Have a look at this question. Supposing if it is given to you, x plus y, 7, 5, x minus y equals to 1, 4, 3, 2, and then This is exactly what is given to you in the question. So, how do we go about? The first thing is, if you notice, let us add this two matrix and equate to the third matrix. X plus Y plus 1. So, it becomes X plus Y plus 1. 7 plus 4. That is 11. Let us make it 9. I am changing my question to 9. I am changing my question to 9. So start from the beginning. x plus y. So x plus y plus 1. There is x plus y plus 1. 9 plus 4. 9 plus 4 is 30. 5 plus 3. That makes it 8. x minus y plus 2. Now this part, this two matrices, this two matrix have been added to obtain this matrix. What about this sign? 9, 13, 8, 2. This was given to us. If you compare, this 13 is equal to this 13. Same position, same number. This 8 is equal to this 8. Same position, same number. So now x plus y plus 1 can be compared to 9. That will give you x plus y equals to 8. Equation number 1. What about this one? x minus y plus 2 equals to 2. That means x minus y equals to 0. These two equations can be solved simultaneously. x minus y equals to 2. If you add both the equations, 2x equals to 10, x equals to 5. Oh, there is an error. x plus y equals to 8, x minus y equals to 0. I wrote it 2. It is not 2, this is equation number 2. x minus y equals to 0. So if x minus y equals to 0, now solve this simultaneously. 8 plus 0, y y cancels 2x equals to a x equals to 4 put the value of x in the first equation or the second of your choice x plus y is 8 x plus y equals to a 4 plus y equals to a therefore y equals to 4 now what is the objective in this to find the value of x and y 
by adding, equating, we can easily find the value of x and y. We will move on to the next part that means doing some of the questions from exercise A and B, the selected ones. Uh, based on the properties that we discussed so far, I am referring to concise mathematics for standard 10 and uh, we are doing chapter number 9 matrices from concise mathematics that is Selena. So, so far whatever properties we have discussed, those properties actually will help you to solve questions from any textbook. Uh, as of now, I am referring to Salina, that is Concise Mathematics for Standard 10 and we are doing chapter number 9. So these are a few questions which I have selected from exercise 9a. Uh, having said that, whatever properties we have done, let us see how we are applying those properties to find out the solutions to the given question. 9a Question number 3, sub-question 1. They have already mentioned that these two matrix are equal. So can I equate, we have to find the value of A and B. Have a look at this position and this position. Can I say minus 4 equals to B plus 4. So what will be the value of B? This 4 will be shifted on the other side. Minus 4 minus 4. Therefore B will be equals to minus A. That's it. Done. We also have to find the value of A. A plus 5. A plus 5. Since the matrix are equal, all elements will be equal. Position will be equal. Position of A plus 5 is corresponding to 2. So A plus 5 will correspond to 2. Therefore, A will be equal to 3. Done. B sorted. A sorted. 3 equals to 3. There is no unknown. Whereas if you see over here, C minus 1 is equal to 2. So 2 equals to C minus 1. Shift this minus 1 to the other side. 2 plus 1 equals to C. Therefore C equals to 3. They have asked you question for 3 marks. Find out the value of A, B and C. A, B and C respectively. Look at question number 5. A, B, C matrix given to us. They are all column matrix. Check it out. What we have to find? Addition of B and C. Please substitute the value of B. 1, 4. C, 6 minus 2. I am sure you guys can easily find out. 1 plus 6, that's 7. 4 plus minus 2, that's 2. Done. Sub question 4, same question number 5. A minus B plus C. Can we substitute? Can we have the values of A, B, and C? 2, 5. B is 1 and 4. And C is 6 and minus 2. Let's do the working operation of plus. So we have to add 2 minus 1. That's 1. 1 plus 6. That's 7. 5 minus 4 is 1, 1 plus minus 2. So basically if you want, I can show the working as well. 2 minus 1 plus 6, 5 minus 4 plus minus 2. That works out to be 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 plus 6 7. 5 minus 4, 1, 1 plus minus 2 is minus 1. This is your answer. Have a look at question number 7. They are given me matrix this minus this can be equated to this. So this is bound to remain the same, not subjected to any change. 4, 7, minus 3 and 2. Let us merge these two matrix by appropriate operation. 5 minus 1. So 5 minus 1 becomes 4. So if you wish, we can show that 5 minus 1, this will be 2 minus. Ensure that you put adequate bracket. If you will not put adequate bracket, probably your sign will go wrong. So to ensure that you don't make any 
error in operation of plus or minus ensure that this terms which are binomials are enclosed in a bracket then comes minus 1 minus 2 and then comes y minus 1 minus again minus 3 I hope you see there is a minus sign this is that one and this is the element which is minus 3 now going forward from here on 5 minus 1 that will translate into 4 2 minus x minus minus becomes plus 1 minus 1 minus 2 becomes minus 3 y minus 1 minus minus becomes plus 3 now if you equate this matrix what you get is 4 is equal to 4 fine 2 minus x plus 1 so 2 minus x plus 1 is nothing but 7 so can we find out this is nothing but 3 minus x plus 3 equals to 7 minus x equals to 7 minus 3 minus x equals to 4 therefore x equals to minus 4 we got the value of x successfully let us find out the value of y what will be the value of y minus 3 is minus 3 y minus 1 plus 3 can be equated to 2 so y minus 1 plus 3 that is plus 2 equals to 2 therefore y equals to 0 my dear friends all these are very very simple questions they really does not ask for extra attention also what you are supposed to do is if you discipline yourself and if you follow the rules of the matrices that has been discussed in the first 15 minutes then those 15 minutes with concentration will enlighten, empower and enhance your knowledge to solve and arrive at the solutions to all the questions those are mentioned in exercise A and B put together let us do the next question that is question number 8 now in question number 8 they happen to give us matrix M that is matrix is given to us alright we have discussed earlier if a matrix is given then how do we get the value of a transpose matrix ok so the matrix is 9a question number 8 the matrix given to us is n equals to 5 minus 3 minus 2 and 4 and they want us to find out find n plus transpose of n and then they are asking if possible do also find out second part transpose of n minus n so why they have asked us if possible find out first thing is n is given can you find the transpose of n yes sir how sir to find the transpose we will interchange rows to columns and columns to rows so the row was 5 and minus 3 which will change to 5 and minus 3 as a column minus 2 and 4 will be given minus 2 and 4 so row has become column row has become column matrix n ready matrix empty ready can you add both of them? Sir, if they are of the same order, they can be added. Can you subtract? Sir, if they are of the same order, they can be subtracted. Of course, both are of the same order. So, I am sure they can be added. So, make sure that you put a proper order. First is M, 5, minus 3, minus 2, 4. 5, minus 3, minus 2, 4. Absolutely perfect. 5, minus 2, minus 3, 4. So can we add them? 5 plus 5, 10. Minus 3 plus minus 2, minus 5. Minus 2 plus minus 3, minus 5. 4 plus 4, 8. Successfully we have found out. Next, find the value of mt minus m. We have m, we have mt. Let us find out. Transpose of m minus m will be substitute 5 
minus 2, minus 3, 4, minus the matrix M, 5, minus 3, minus 2, and 4. Here we go. 5 minus 5, let's see. Minus 2, if you are ever confused, do write it down. Minus 2, minus, element is minus 3, so minus 3 will go in the bracket. Minus 3 minus element is minus 2 and 4 minus 4. Same way, if you wish, you can write and show 5 minus 5. So, the final answer 5 minus 5 turns out to be 0. Minus 2 plus 3, that's 1. Minus 3 plus 2, that's minus 1. 4 minus 4. This is the final answer. So, I'm sure, my dear friends, you are very much familiar with what is a transpose matrix. Addition of matrix, subtraction of matrix, all these things now are given and solved. We have done it in a very simplified form. But there is something called additive inverse. I'll give you an example. Suppose if I have a number 7. What is the additive inverse of number 7? So additive inverse means what? You know? Exactly same magnitude but opposite in sign. That means Additive inverse of 7. If 7 is a number, additive inverse would be minus 7. So why? Because when you add both of them, your result will always be 0. So what will be the additive inverse of A? Additive inverse of A would be minus A. So that when we add, the result is always 0. What would be the additive inverse of minus 5 upon 8? Additive inverse of minus 5 upon 8 would be 5 upon 8. What is the additive inverse of A? Additive inverse of A would be minus A. What will be the additive inverse of 6? Additive inverse of 6 would be minus 6. Additive inverse of minus 3.11 would be 3.11. Why? Because when we add both of them, the result is always 0. So suppose if I happen to have a matrix which is 3, 6, 8, 11. Then can anyone tell me what will be the additive inverse of matrix A? Can anyone tell me? The answer would be we are going to have answer is minus 3, 6, 8, 11. Whatever other characters, just take the opposite one. So if this is A, automatically additive inverse of A will be minus outside in the matrix. Minus outside is minus 1. That means it would be that each element of A will change the character by means of changing their sign. 3 becomes minus 3, 6 becomes minus 6, 8 becomes minus 8. 11 becomes minus 11. So additive inverse of A would be negative of matrix A which finally translates into this. So if I give you what is the additive inverse of B which is 1 minus 3, 8 and 4 upon 3. The answer additive inverse of P would be 1 will change to minus 1, minus 3 will change to 3, 8 will change to minus 8, 4 upon 3 will change to minus 4 upon 3. Sir, this is so simple. Yeah, indeed, it is simple. Finally, to conclude our class for today, finally, what we can do is, supposing if I have matrix A, which is 1, 3, 4, and 5. Matrix B, which is minus 2, 5, minus 3, and 7. If A minus 2B equals to 3 plus X equals to 3B. Now, this is what exactly is given to me. 2a plus x, x is also a matrix, equals to 3b. Find 
matrix x. So how we normally solve our equation? We have to follow the same method. Since because I have to find x, so x will be equal to 3 b minus 2 a. 3. Can you substitute the values of matrix b? That is minus 2, 5, minus 3, 7, minus 2. What about matrix A? 1, 3, 4. So now, what to do? You can put this 3 inside. Minus 6, 15, minus 9, and 21. Minus. Please place this 2 inside so you get 29. Each element will get 29. Like 2, 2, 6, 8, and 10. This is a normal calculation. Minus 6 minus 2 becomes minus 8. 15 minus 6 becomes 9. Minus 9 minus 8 minus 17. 21 minus 10 becomes 11. This is the value of matrix X. Same question, same question, same data. If this would be A plus 2X would be on uh, 2b find the value of matrix x so my answer will be 2x equals to 2b minus a do we have matrix b yes sir please put the value minus 2 5 minus 3 7 matrix a 1 3 4 5. When you try and solve this question, see look what happens. 2 into minus 2, minus 4. 2 into this, 10. This one, minus 6. This one, 14. Minus, minus. This remains same. 1, 3, 4, and 5. Finally, minus 4, minus 1 is minus 5. 10 minus 3, 7, minus 6 minus 4, minus 10, 14 minus 5, 9. I simply did normal subtraction operation. But this is what? 2x. What I am interested in finding? x. I am interested in finding x. So x becomes half of this picture. Minus 5, 7, minus 10, 9. If you wish to take this half inside, you can divide each element by 2. Minus 5 upon 2, 7 upon 2, minus 5, 9 upon 2. With this, at least A exercise 9A comes to an end. You can try out all the questions of exercise 9A and I'm sure you will get almost all the results and the answers correct at first shot only provided if you go through my explanation for the first 15 to 20 minutes and do listen to it again and again over and over it so that you get a hang of it. Move on to exercise 9B. I will be doing 9B right now. The questions in 9B are uh, in sync with 9a so the same properties what we have discussed now we will be exploring them and they are quite simple also have a look 3 this matrix is only row matrix so basically when I insert 3 inside so it becomes 3 4s are 12 3 into x 3x this is my matrix plus this 2 goes inside so the result would be 2 into y, 2y. 2 into minus 3, minus 6. That is going to give you 10 and 0. Now if you see matrix, two matrix can be added if they are of the same order. This is a normal row matrix. Row matrix. Row matrix. What is the order? How many rows are there? One single row. How many columns? Two columns. One single row, two columns. So they can be added. Now when I add them, 
12 see position to position 12 plus 2y this is the position the next will be 3x plus minus 6 that will be 3x minus 6 can be equated to 10 and 0 so now you can see it. 12 plus 2y can be equated to 10 2y equals to 10 minus 12 2y equals to minus 2 y equals to minus 1 as simple as that same way 3x minus 6 equals to 0 3x equals to 6 x equals to 2 my dear friends this was a very simple question of course it may invite a confusion for you only if you make a mistake in recognizing that this is a question on only row matrix so one single row two columns so you must remember position to position and that is how you keep on shifting the position have a look one more question this was just only row matrix this is only column matrix question number two sub question one when I take this x inside, so it's going to translate, when I'll just erase this question. So it doesn't obstruct your vision. Alright, have a look. x, so this is going to become minus x and this x multiplied by 2 becomes 2x. Because each and every element will get multiplied by the multiple. Minus. 4, 4 will go inside. So 4 into minus 2. I am keeping this minus sign outside only. So merely 4 will go. 4 into minus 2, minus 8. 4 into y, 4y equals to 7 minus 8. Now when I do the operation on this matrix, minus x minus minus 8. Down over here, 2x minus 4y can be compared to 7 so the top one minus x minus minus becomes plus 8 2x minus 4y can be compared to 7 and minus 8 now when we actually compare minus x plus 8 equals to 7 minus x equals to minus 1 therefore x equals to 1 Similarly, 2x minus 4y can be equated to minus 8. Since you already have the value of x, put it as 1, 2 into 1, 2 minus 4y minus 8. Minus 4y minus 8 minus 2 will become minus 10. Minus minus cancels. Therefore, y equals to 10 upon 4, which is 2.5. So we get the value of x and we get the value of y. In the previous exercise also we have done similar type of sum. Yet again we have the same type of sum. 2 inside, 2 inside. 2, 3 are 6. 2 into x, 2x. 0 into 2, 0 and 2. Multiply by 3. 3, 9, 3y and 6. Here we have z. Don't mistake it for 2. It's a z. z minus 7. 15 and 8. Let us do this operation first. 6 plus 3, 9. 2x plus 9 remains same. 0 plus 3y, that's 3y. 2 plus 6, that's 8. Equate it to z minus 7, 15 and 8. We have to find the value of all of them. 9 will be equated to z, therefore z equals to 9. Found the value. 2x plus y, 2x plus 9 will be equated to minus 7. 2x equals to minus 16. x equals to minus 8. We got the value of x as well. What remains? y. 3y will be equated to corresponding yes number y equals to 5. 3 1 question, all 3 found out. After question number 6, let's move on to question number 10. Here we have M. So we have to find matrix M is how much? M minus 2i equals to this matrix. My dear friend, if you remember, we have this 
discussed about identity matrix. I is identity matrix. I then TT matrix, which is also called as unitary matrix. You remember I diagonally it will be one. This is I. So what they meant over here is M minus two times identity matrix one zero zero one. This remains uniform, same. Equals to hey, can I insert this three inside? Of course, yes. So this becomes minus three, three into zero, zero, and twelve, and three. So M equals to minus three, zero, twelve. 3. This minus 2, I'm going to shift on that side so it becomes 2 times 1, 0, 0, 2. Then what? Simple addition minus 3, 0, 12, 3 plus 2 into 1, 2, 0, 0, 4. Let me check if there is any error. It was one zero zero one, not two. So this is going to become two. Two into one. Two zero zero two. Can you add both of them? Oh yes, sir. Very much. Minus three plus two minus one. Zero plus zero zero. Twelve plus zero twelve. Three plus two five. This is my answer. Resulting matrix form. Similar type of sum 5m plus 3i equals to 4 times this. So, can I say 5m equals to insert 4 inside becomes 8 minus 20, 0 minus 12 plus 3i goes on that side it becomes minus 3i. I can be substituted for 1001. Can you do it further from here? Minus place 3. 3003. What further? 8 minus 3. 5. Minus 20 minus 0. Minus 20. 0 minus 0. Minus 12 minus 3. Minus 15. This is 5m. So you can find out the m. How? One fifth of this. 5m is this. So m will be 1 upon 5 times this. If you wish, you can multiply that. And when you multiply, actually 1 upon 5 into 5, that means you are dividing each term by 5. So 5 upon 5, minus 20 upon 5, 0 upon 5, minus 15 upon 5. This is the resulting answer, which we have done it earlier when I took it a simple example.